Okay, oh. so I'm unlacing my boy's boots here. I told Trina that I would take excellent care of her husband. Do you see me doing this? Like my feet don't fucking hurt? Yeah, it's fine. I'll take care of my boys first. I always take care of your boys first. Because when it comes to fighting grizzly bears, I'm going to do that too, honestly. But it's all right. Got to take care of the boys. Thank you. I'm just sitting here I got time It's clear to see End of day two The marsh We hiked 15 miles today The world seems small I'm hurting we can My feet are so sore together. Shoulders are killing me It's so beautiful You and me Good news is we got to this point. We meant to be this cabin here, we came across. Nobody here for the night. So it looks like we're gonna be staying in a cabin again. Look at Todd. Todd's coming out. He's hurting worse than I am. <coughs> How you feeling, Todd? <laughs> like I'm 150 years old right now. <laughs> <laughs> his, his feet are really bad right now. So, there's a campsite about 100 meters down the trail. So if the people that are supposed to be here tonight actually show up tonight, then we'll have to go there. But hopefully they won't show up tonight. Yeah, I hope you guys are enjoying these videos and these photos. Man. Resurrection Trail ain't no joke if you ain't never done a 40 mile hike. So, we'll see what tomorrow brings. Have a good night. I'm going to bed really soon. In the great outdoors, forever free. You and me, meant to be. In the great outdoors, forever free. All right. Day three, wake up, beautiful day, sun's out. The bad thing is with the sun out like this, it's gonna kill us on our walk. But uh, had a really good night tonight in the cabin. Whoever rented this cabin for the last night and they didn't show up, thank you. You doing okay, Todd? I am. All right. So, shh, we're gonna, they think we're 20 miles away. We're actually only 13 miles away. So we're gonna go in tonight and they're expecting us tomorrow. So we're gonna surprise them. So, can't wait to see my wife. I miss her a lot. You know, laying down in this cabins the last two nights by myself in a little tiny sleeping bag, but look over and she's not there, kind of sucks. That's why I'm hoping to really surprise her when I get there. Cause you know, she's not expecting it until tomorrow. She's been texting me on this uh, in-reach thing that we have, telling me how much she misses me and stuff. So it's going to be cool to surprise her. <clears throat> but other than that, we're already packed up. We're ready to throw our rucks on, and we're getting ready to uh, hightail it out of here, 13 miles. Won't be bad. We did 15 yesterday. We were hurting. So I know we're going to be hurting when we get in today. But, hey, it's going to be worth it. All right, guys. See you in a bit. Okay, so Todd offered me a spoon. I thought that was stupid. So, you know, you kind of just do the dumb trick, but right at the bottom's a little thick, so a two finger scoop. <laughs> and then to clean your fingers, you say, a nuke. <laughs> just like that. And voila. Voila. <laughs> What's wrong, baby girl? You don't want to put that back on? Nope. 
she's not happy. She's like, screw this. after being back from Resurrection Pass 2018. There was four of us that went on this hike. Uh, we had never done this trail before. We didn't know what to expect. Um, it was Alicia, Lacey, me, and then Tony, who was like a brother to me. Day one, we started out with Trina, Tony's wife, Gail, they walked us out a little bit. Uh, you could tell right off the bat that 
Tony and Trina really didn't want to be apart. It has something that's a bit different for them. They've always done these types of things together. Uh, this was Tony's first long hike and especially multiple overnight hikes. So it was being the first for him. I really wanted him to come. He was able to do it. Lacey, she had done Crow Pass with me last year, so she was pretty much used to um, long hikes and pretty much what to expect and what kind of things can go wrong. So, and then Alicia, she was able to make it, which I was totally grateful for. It's not only the people that came, but who you hike with. And having a hike with multiple people is the best thing to do. I've hiked by myself for over 20 years. Uh, it wasn't until last year I started hiking with a group of people. Having a base camp is extremely important. It is something that I had set up in Crow Pass um, for last year and also had this year. Trina was the head of the base camp uh, for this resurrection trek that we were doing. Um, this is a great support system to have and though you got someone at the end of the trail or even additional people that can come out during the time that you're out there in case something happens, uh, which we were totally grateful. There was nothing that happened. Down the trail, we met this group of, of a family, it was a large group. They had, we had stopped and chatted with each other. They had asked where we were going and we said we were going all the way to Hope and we were coming from Cooper Landing. So they said, well, they had just rented a cabin just down the way and if we wanted to stay there, we could um, because they were not going to stay there overnight. Um, only stipulation was to not mess it up. I mean, this cabin was nice in itself, but the beauty around the cabin was was the best. We had this huge lake. Uh, there was two canoes, um, plenty of room for the dogs to roam. Um, packs came right off. We're like, yes, we're staying. I mean, it was like having a mini vacation while being on a hiking trip. The women, Lacey and Alicia, they decided that they were going to be take charge and set up the, uh, do the campfire and get the wood cut and the wood gathering and stuff. One task that was given us, and you'll see in the photos and stuff like that, um, Alicia said, you know, there's one task that we had to do, and that was to make it a home. And what we did was we were supposed to hang this American flag. Well, we hung this American flag. Granted, we were worn out and everything else, but we wound up, because it was pre-laid nails and stuff, and we didn't maneuver to make it quite straight at the top, or even. Uh, we got a lot of flack from Alicia for that, which was it was very comical. Alicia took charge and she made it straight. Um, we had a great time, we sat around the campfire, we, we had a lot of jokes, we were talking, I mean, it was, it was just an amazing, we got to know each other a little bit better. On that second day, we're hiking and stuff, and I had removed my kilt and put on my hiking pants because there was just way too many bucks. So I changed into my pants, you know, water resistant pants and stuff and figured I would wear that rest of the trek. Um, about halfway through that trek, I ran into two problems at once. I had noticed that I had chafing going on and that my water bladder wasn't working because I didn't need it till then. It's a couple of mishaps, so uh, we had reached the summit, 2,600 feet. Um, we were grateful for that. It was all cheery and everything else. Took selfies, we did group photos, um, and you'll see more of that here. Um, we were head, started heading out from that elevation point, and lo and behold, it started downpouring on us. And at that point, my feet were really, really bothering me. You know, the second day, you know, even on the first day, it started out where it was Alicia and Lacey in the front, me and Tony in the back. Um, so, which was fine. 
uh, they were very motivational for us. Both of them were. Um, we were down 900 feet. We found the campground we were looking for. There was camping spots. But because I was hurting so bad and, you know, everybody else was tired and stuff, we thought we'd take a, take a chance. And the girl we stopped, uh, the girls went ahead. They found a cabin for us. Um, we went, we stayed there. We waited to make sure that no one had the cabin rented. It was like 11 o'clock at night before we really got set up. And to keep us entertained, Alicia found some cards, and we started playing Go Fish. Um, after we played that for a couple hours, we got tired, realized no was coming, so we wound up sleeping there for the night, which I was totally grateful for. And we got started out on the third day, about 11 o'clock, actually. And we were thinking, you know, we can make it all the way to base camp. And one of the things is that where we're, where our base camp was set up is that where Trina and everybody else can watch us come over the bridge and they can video us and greet us and everything else. And we had an inreach with us. And But that day I was just like, hey, you know what? We're not going to start and tell them where we're at. You know, we're kind of fibbing, you know, how how far we were at, where we're staying the night, where we'll be bathing on Saturday. And the whole reason was because, yes, it would have been great to be, to be greeted and everything else. But with this being Tony's first track, um, we decided that we were going to surprise the group. You know, like I said, we were fibbing, saying and we didn't have it turned on. We were being asked, Trina was asking Tony all these questions, where we're at, how far we were going to go and stuff like that. And we just gave them bogus numbers and how many miles we had. And we set, we did set waypoints so they knew where we were at, but not exactly what we were doing. You know, there was kind of speculation because the second day, uh, we did almost 16 miles the second day. I mean, it was just bam, we were gone. And we only had 14 and 14.9 miles left to go. So we're kind of thrown off a little bit. So as we're getting closer and stuff, and Tony, he's all excited. You know, we all are. But really, Tony, he was he was really missing Trina. And so we're trying to figure out what we're going to do when we got to bridge, how we were going to try to get their attention and stuff, because there were two campsites away from the bridge. And where the water is at, where they were at in the river, on Boulder Creek, it was just really loud, really loud. And as soon as we got around that bend and Zenosilla campsite, boom, she took off. And the girls started doing their little how thing again. And, we, and there was still no movement, but the dogs were barking, so we knew someone had to be there, but we saw no one. Um, when we arrived, everybody was taking a nap. Um, Serena was the first one to come out of the tent, out of her tent, um, and then it was Trina, she came out, and I kid you not, when Trina saw Jody, I mean not Jody, when Trina saw Tony, it was just a surreal experience for both of them. Um, she was so happy to see him, he was so happy to see her, I mean the whole time on this trek, Tony was talking about how much he was missing his wife. And while we're on the trek and we're out there hiking and stuff, you know, he was really missing. He wanted to see what we were seeing. Um, and so I really knew this was really important to them. So this is why we chose this surprise. And just the expression on all their faces when they saw us because we surpassed what we had planned, um, originally what I had planned, 10 miles a day, um, taking it easy and enjoying it. It was just, it was just great to see them and to see their reactions and stuff. It really was, you know, my feet on that, on that third day, on that Friday, we, I had told Tony earlier that, hey, you know, my feet really bother me again. Even though they're bandaged really good, they're really starting to hurt again. I could feel a new blister coming on. And I wasn't going to say anything. I wanted to wait till we got back to base camp. But 
Tony being Tony, he's like, hey, Alicia, Tony uses feet looked at it again. She's like, no problem. Post-op, we'll take a look. And she did. She bandaged me up a little bit better um, because I was sweating so much the moleskin was coming off. So she had to redo it and then wrap uh, some of that moleskin that I was having problems with in those areas. Took my boots off and, and then Alicia took my socks off and everything. And holy cow, that I'd never experienced anything like that before. So, but yeah, we sat in the, we sat in the river for a good hour and stuff, letting her feet calm down and everything else. But, you know, hiking with a group of people, you really need to pick who you want to go with you and who you're going to have go with you. Um, it's not like doing a day hike and having 50 people with you because when you're out there in the middle of nowhere and there is no one else but who you're with as a support group and you know we're out there in bear country luckily we didn't see any bears even though tony was wanting to yes i wanted to see a bear but my thing was i knew xena i knew how she would react even though she had a collar on the people that i went with this time you know it was great i mean i knew what i knew what lacy could contribute to i mean she's a great motivator she can push through anything. She's willing to help. Um, she is truly amazing on a hike. And it was great to have her along. Um, Tony, this was his first one. And I wanted him to have a great experience. I mean, they've only been in Alaska for a year and a half. And being this, being that he was able to come to the second one. You know, I had brought it up really early in the year. And kept mentioning it and stuff. And we kept talking about it. And he was able to do it. I was very gracious that he was able to do it. Um, Alicia, I've done plenty of day hikes with her and stuff. And like I said, she's a mountain goat. Boom. She can just fly. There, there's no stopping her. And with Alicia's military background and stuff like that, our newer personalities would get along great on a long journey like this. Um... But there was also some bonding and stuff in that. You know, everybody I was with, there was more bonding between all of us than what we had before. You know, doing these big treks like this, I mean, I've done overnights and stuff like that, but I've never done these big ones before, and it's always something I wanted to do. And, but doing it in a group is something that's the way to do it. With... The people I went with, I am very grateful for, and I want to say thank you. Not only for your support, but for the, the bonding that happened. You know, you know, I got to know each and every one of you a little bit more. Lacey, I appreciate your motivation and everything, and... You know, saying you guys are doing good and always checking on us, stopping and seeing where we were at, how we were doing. I mean, it was a constant thing you did through that, and I'm very appreciative of that. Um, Alicia, you know how grateful I am. Um, I hope that how well you took care of my feet and you took charge of the situation. Um, I really do appreciate that. that. That means a lot to me. Tony, you are my brother. We have been like brothers since we first met. We had a lot more bonding um, going on this trek. You know, there was more things that I learned about you, things you learned about me. Tony, you did awesome. Um, I wasn't the one hurting, you were hurting. I know Lacey was hurting. You know, Alicia was hurting. We were all hurting. But... We pushed through it, we persevered, we outdid our expectations of ourselves and each other. We outdid it. And we rocked that trail. You know, and Alicia, you know, you helping me figure out what we we're going to do and how far we we're going to go. We went through the maps, the details, and everything from the information that I had. 
you know, it was great. We were spot on on every decision that we made. We'll have to figure out what the next one is. But thank you for the experience, the memories, the laughter, the jokes that we had, the experience that we had together, the memories that are there. Those are never going away. And I just, I just love all of you. Trina, um, thank you for being the head of base camp. I know you really wanted to join us. And, but I am so grateful that you were there at base camp for us. You know, you had Trina and Jody there. You also had external support from Gail. For all of you that showed up even that night, um, after we arrived, way ahead than what you guys had planned. Steve, I was so glad to see you there as well. Gail, I was so happy to see you. You know, and just everyone that showed up, it was great. You know, thank you all for being there for us and being our support. And Trina, I love you. So, you know, Serena, Jody, thank you for being there and supporting Trina. You know, I was grateful for you guys being there. You know, I love you guys as well. You know, I just, I just really appreciate everything. You know, and it was a multiple people that wanted to do this hike and stuff. And, you know, it's been my dream to do something like this and to have you guys in my life. Not just in my life on a regular basis, but on experiences like this. is I can't explain the feeling or the emotion to it. It's hard. It really is. But it's right there. And I love you all. And thank you.